Okay, so to do this activity, you're going to need a regular roughly 13 gallon trash bag um, and two Soprano recorders. Also, you, I'm gonna try to use a straw, just a regular straw, but um, I also read that you can take the uh, tubes of uh, ballpoint pens and take two of them and tape them together and then you can have uh, the part where you're gonna blow the air into the bag. Also, I'm gonna try to use electric tape and a pair of scissors. Uh, I would probably recommend using duct tape. So since I don't have a lot of duct tape, I'm just gonna use whatever I can on electric and any leaks or holes I may have, I'll just try to use some duct tape over it. All right, so the first step is we're going to have to reduce the size of this trash bag down to about three quarters of the way. So uh, we're simply going to try to cut along this edge so we can have about three quarters of the bag left. Make sure that you cut the edge that is already open. That way you'll still have three regular sealed up sides and that's gonna be important for your bag pipe. That's what it'll look like roughly when you're done. So this top recorder, you're going to tape to the inside of this bag and then seal it up all around. The straw, you're gonna to wanna to try to get closer to the top of the bag. And again, this is the part of the bag that we just cut open. So this is your one and only opening in the bag right now. Try to get that straw to be somewhere near the corner. It'll be taped inside. And the tip of this recorder will be taped inside as well but make sure you do not cover up the sound hole, which is right here towards the tip. So just that part, the mouthpiece, but don't cover up that part. Same thing down here in the bottom right-hand corner. So when you put it all together, it'll just be the mouthpieces inside from the recorder and the straw. So at this point, you're gonna fold over the tape and seal in that one side of the bag before we move on to the second side. When you flip over the bag to seal the tape and pull it over on itself, you might also wanna take another strip of tape on this side and go ahead and seal the bag before we start to seal up this side of the bag. At this point, look all around the mouthpiece of the recorder and see if you find any leaks or any holes that are going into the bag. If so, just take an extra piece of electric tape and tape it down nice and tight so you can seal in all of that area around the tip of the recorder. Okay, now we're gonna seal the other side down by laying a piece of tape across it and then lift it up and then start folding it over to make that seal on the other side of the open end of the bag. I almost forgot one of the most important things. We still need to make sure that this straw gets inside that bag. So before you seal up the other end of it, make sure that you get the straw somewhere in the corner. Just to make sure that this last part is sealed up, you don't want to go ahead and take another piece of tape and seal it up right across the top. So you know the straw is completely sealed inside the bag. On mine, I can see a little bit of the bag coming through. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another piece of tape around the edge. I may have gone a little overboard, but what you wanna make sure is that uh, the straw is still completely open, even underneath the tape, and that it's not pinched flat because you're gonna need to be blowing air into this part. What we're left with now is a sealed bag at the top with our straw sticking out. That'll be the mouthpiece to our bagpipe. We have the drone, which we will be taping up some of these holes in just a bit, and I'll explain why in a little while. And now the last part is, uh, again, we have a cornered, a sealed corner here for our bag. We're going to be putting our chanter right here, which is going to be the second soprano recorder. So I'll need to cut a little hole right there in that bag, slide that mouthpiece in, and uh, make sure not to cover up the sound hole right there. So we're just going to, want to take a piece of tape and cover it right across the top here, make sure that it's completely sealed, and then do the same on the back side. I 
I even took an additional two little strips of tape and kind of went crosswise to make sure that I get all around the edge of the recorder sealed up. You can do an extra two pieces on this side as well if you want to, just to make sure that there's no leaks coming from inside these pieces of tape here. So the next part, this is what our uh, recorder is going to end up looking like before we cover up any holes with tape. The recorder next to the mouthpiece, we're going to need to tape down some of these holes. And the reason why is we, we want to create what's known as a drone. So when you hear bagpipes, you usually hear them start out with a certain sound. And then you start hearing the uh, bagpipe player move their fingers up on the chanter, which is what creates the notes. However, this pipe here will constantly blow out the same note. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape down some of these holes as well as the one on the back so that we can get it to create the letter, the note D. It will be playing D, low D by the way, all the way down through here. Uh, it'll be playing low D so that um, whatever song we decide to play, we'll probably need to put it into the key of D and make sure that it works well with the drone. Uh, if we want to do a song in the key of C, we would have to tape down all the holes to make it be a low C. Uh, but you got to make sure that uh, whatever note this is going to play, you're going to be playing the same notes found in that scale for the chanter portion. Okay, so again, what we're going to do is cover up tape over all of the holes on the top of the recorder and leave the bottom two little bitty holes open and then turn it over and make sure that you cover up this hole as well. All right, rub your finger nice and tight over the tape and make sure there are no leaks in your drone. Okay, ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so this is the bottom part. Okay. It's just gonna hang there for right now. The way the bagpipes are played is we put the drone over our shoulder. Now it's gonna be kind of hard, but see if you can wedge it between your neck and your shoulder and just hold it like this. <clears throat> now we're gonna have to place this and it's gonna take a while, with, especially with the straw. If you use pens, it might be a little faster, but for a straw, it's gonna take a really long time to blow up this bag. So let's see what happens. It's already making some sound. So now we gotta squeeze this bag to create sound. Where'd it go, huh? All right, let's see if we can play something. Here we go. <laughs> Probably be easier if I didn't have a toddler squeezing on the bag, which is making it really, really difficult to catch up with my breath. <laughs> oh, and I gotta blow the bag up first. <laughs> yes, but let me get it really, really big.
Yeah. <laughs>